what's up guys we are back at this retaining wall repair job if you guys follow the channel you'll know i was out here a couple months ago doing an inspection of this retaining wall because it was already showing some signs of failure you can see right here you got a crack and the wall was starting to bulge out well it took several months to get the engineers to come up with a plan and for the township to approve it but we are rescuing this retaining wall so to speak so far we have our three pillars and footings dug rebar cages in and ready to be poured so we have rebar dowed in to the existing footer here there's 12 pieces of rebar dowed in they're spaced out every 12 inches and then there's 10 of them going into the wall and then our cage is built there's about there's 10 outside rings 10 i guess inside rings we'll call them then there's 16 uprights that go down and they spread out into the footing and then the footing has its own rebar cage concrete trucks on its way we're going to pour the footings first two days from now when this concrete's nice and set up we're going to form out these columns with wood and then we'll pour the columns all right it is concrete time This is 10 yards between all three. So each one's like three and a third, we'll call it. What I'm getting ready to do, let's see how it is. Oh yeah, it's getting a little tough. So what I'm getting ready to do, we're gonna leave all this a rough finish. So the asphalt will have something to stick to. So we don't want that to be smooth, but I am gonna trowel out and you can see I started doing it already right around the cage because what Chuck was working on over there that's our wood forms and i want them to sit on something nice and flat about the mess on the tailgate see if I would have did that Corey's been throwing a big old fit since he did that no big deal you can see this is the existing footer that's what we're tying into we went down step to 36 inches And we need to be at least five feet out from the front of the wall. You can see we're like the tape measure plus that, I don't know, 66. And then our width, we need at least six feet wide. And we're about six, four wide. So that was the fourth hole, that went good. Fifth hole, we hit some rock, but we got that dug. The sixth hole, we ran into some concrete. And what we did was we just saw cut it around the edge. Now he's gonna break the excavator. Jeez Louise. I don't know why we bought a saw cut if he was just gonna use it as a battering ram. Oh my god. There we go. Too? Oh, Jim's gonna be mad at that. Let's see, just try to get under it. It'll probably snap right up. 
dude. we got these forms braced up a lot better than the first three I made a separate video about that I'll leave a link in the description if you didn't see it two of those forms almost blew out so we learned from our mistakes the first time we added these three cross supports and then kickers out on the sides and the front so hopefully there's no surprises with this So these forms held up pretty good. We didn't have any issues, thankfully. I'm gonna make this a two-part video. We end up running into some serious rock and discover a couple more issues with this retaining wall. So make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. As usual, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.